Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly psychic tarot reading. Welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. So, I'm feeling very appreciative for your reading and innovative. I feel like um, I feel like I'm tuned in to new ideas. I'm not following someone else's path. I'm I'm a trail maker. So with that, let's get going, Scorpio. This is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. It's always so wonderful to meet you guys in that one-on-one -on -one space. So let's get to it. All right, Scorpio, in the past we have the King of Pentacles. It's a new deck, and there's several variations of the um, court cards and emperor and empress. All right, so I'm getting... This feels like generational wealth. This feels like um, how wealth is thought about was beliefs about finance, wealth, abundance were passed down generationally for you in, in your family. If it wasn't wealth, it was definitely ideas about money and finance. It feels like who I'm tuning into they th there's this feeling like I'll always be taken care of even if there are time periods of uh, lack and having to tighten the um, the belt around spending it feels like I, I there's a belief that I'll, I'll have enough I'll I'll get what I need I have what I need. All right, it looks like something in the past was coming to the surface, something that was hidden about money, about finances. It looks like this almost feels like um, the, some of the beliefs about finances about passed it down through the family line is that um, salesmen being able to really sell people on uh, um, even an illusion of well-being of finance financial well-being and I'm also getting here that it looks like people in your family uh, do well financially when they follow their passions this is not a fit this feels like a very creative family very creative and um, that's where the emotions come in this is a very emotional family <laughs> Because it feels like they're artists. They create abundance. I've never had a reading like this. So interesting. It's like um, entrepreneurs or something that they're... It feels like I need to take a job that I'm passionate about. Otherwise, I just... It's... Ugh. Ugh, it's the worst. Yeah, this is a very creative family. I might even add artists, creative. Um, this feels like a family. Gosh, these are so specific messages. This feels like people low-key uh, channel. They're in flow state. And so that's why being in a job they don't love uh, some kind of nine to five punching the clock just doesn't work because they're not in flow state. And when they're in flow state, they just um, make bank. 
what can I say? Because they follow their emotions, they are their passions. Yeah, follow their passions. And this type of family, though, does have difficulty with emotions because they are creative. So, feels so specific. <laughs> so, all right, Scorpio, in present time, oh, wow, we have 10 of pentacles. This has been about money, at least so far. Okay, 10 of pentacles talks about lasting legacy type of abundance being generational wealth so it looks like you are stepping into a period of being very abundant it feels like um you're manifesting or have manifested feels like you you are rising financially and it feels like as you rise more people you'll be supporting more people the um giving more people jobs it's not like you're just giving your money away but rising tides raise all ships that type of thing the more and i think that's in this aquarian energy the universe wants to work with work with and through people like you because you are you aren't just going to hoard the mo money because the energy of money wants to build wants to create wants expansion this is a universe of expansion and the consciousness of money wants to expand as well and so it looks like you want to create a lot not just for yourself but it feels like you have big plans Okay, these just popped out. Two of Cups and the Knight of Swords. Someone's coming in with messages about a partnership. Feels very loving. We've been talking about finances and then all of a sudden love is here. Okay. I'm getting that for some of you, this stability and me kind of talking about and activating the stability, realizing, acknowledging, validating, appreciating the stability that you have created, the long line of stability that you are a part of so you can catch on to that wave of momentum in your family and you're creating abundance there's something about you creating abundance and stability for yourself that is opening up it feels like um you're with stability and security and financial abundance you're starting to feel more like thrive energy and getting out of fight or flight and so that's opening it's like okay i'm safe it's safe to open my heart space and it looks like so your financial status as it relates to your stability and security and safety is directly affecting your love life Does that make sense so all right what does scorpio need to know about this this could be okay interesting there's some painful communication coming in so it's about this this two of cups and there's someone's coming in with the communication but it's it's very painful very painful communication about a, a player about someone with really inconsistent energy No, I think what's happening here, it feels like there's an opportunity. Someone comes in with like loving messages and <clears throat> it feels like you, it feels like these 
loving messages trigger a painful response within you. It feels like you are perceiving everyone as um, if someone is to be interested in you, then it's because they they just want to um, use you. They, they just want something from you. Uh, it feels like there's some, some woundedness there. Yes, this is um, in regards to someone who is very controlling and manipulative. Quite possibly in a marriage. Oh, I see. Okay. And it feels like there's a lot coming in. Oh, Mercury retrograde. Okay. Okay. I'm going to read these. How the, It feels like this. these are three different events. It feels like there's someone coming in and they're very loving and they've got a lot to um, say to you about partnership. And this does feel very loving and caring. There's someone else coming in that feels like a player, very inconsistent. And if, if what they say, how they're communicating is very wounded or wounding. This feels like someone feeling a bit reckless. This definitely has Mercury retrograde type of feel on it where the Two of Cups energy, it almost feels new i don't recognize that energy where this feels like someone from the past that you know someone who's a player someone who who doesn't care if what they say wounds you or hurts you and then there's another energy this feels like someone maybe you were married to or had a long relationship with they're very controlling and manipulative. They're a bad leader. They, they lead from their ego, very insecure. They have a lot of people duped and believing that they've, you know, they're a wonderful person and a leader, but they, they lead from insecurity. And so with the four of wands and they're like skipping away, it feels like this person it could be married or was married to you or had a long relationship with. And then the page of swords, they, this person hasn't changed. They haven't learned anything new at all. And if they communicate, they communicate in lies. This is a very deceptive energy. So... That's what I'm picking up on. It feels like, it, to me, three different people. Another way I could read this is this could be internal. So if these aren't external events, they could be internal. You could be healing your masculine and feminine energy and receiving a lot of um, new perspectives about how to balance your masculine and feminine, and it looks like that helps you with your finances, with your stability and security, with creating the world, the life that you wanted. It looks, so if this is an internal, <clears throat> it looks like you are acknowledging a lot of painful aspects as they're coming up. It feels like you are uh, healing some woundedness, allowing yourself to feel it, to heal it anywhere where your energy was inconsistent in the past and where, and maybe even clearing karma, recognizing where you have caused harm. And then the last one, if it's internal, it's a realization, um, feels like you're letting go of your inner critic, 
firing that inner critic and letting go of fear and control. You're no longer, it feels like internally you might have internalized um, someone who was a tyrant growing up. And so in, instead of like a parent and instead of not liking them because you were dependent on them to live, you instead internalize that constant criticism to yourself. If that's the case, you might have some autoimmune issues. Um, so, a lot of different ways to, um, you might even recognize several of those different reads within yourself. They might, several of those ways of reading might be true for some of you. So, all right, Scorpio, let's move on to what's hidden is judgment in reverse. This is talking about people who don't change, who don't evolve, who don't heed the calling. Someone stuck. Okay, someone someone strategizing because they want a partnership. <laughs> okay, this is a pretty unconscious energy and they're strategizing about partnership and they're looking for someone who will sacrifice um, to be in this partnership. So someone who looks really good on paper, someone who makes them look good, even financially. Ooh, you're, you're looking really good financially. And what is hidden here, it looks like someone might be trying to schmooze you into a partnership because they really don't want to do anything. They see you as easily dupable and they're not financially well off. It feels like they talk a good game. And so that's why your guides are wanting you to take it slow and really see um, what their intentions are because they see you as someone so loving, so nurturing. This person might have a mother wound and they want, they might want you to be their mommy. <laughs> and um, it looks like what's hidden is you ending this cycle, you ending this cycle of of attracting very unconscious people who who kind of purposely plan on putting you in a, a position where they it feels like they put you on a shelf and they don't want you to do anything they don't want you to have your own feelings your own life they don't want you to have your own friends or anything and they just want to take you off that shelf whenever they want you whenever they want wh whatever and um and it feels like they expect you to sacrifice everything so they can have their life and do what they want this feels like the patriarchy kind of stuff toxic masculinity and what's interesting is this person um it doesn't feel like traditional like they're willing to step into the traditional role of provider they don't they bring instability and insecurity but they love your energy and they love how you see yourself not because they want to support that but because it feels like they want to compete with that jeez so anyway what's hidden is that this type of connection you attracting and being attracted to these type of energies it looks like you're transforming that that cycle is ending all right scorpio um in the possible outcome is the emperor in reverse so that's the second time the emperor in reverse has shown up it's a bad boss is a bad dad, bad daddy, <laughs> bad boss, bad daddy, someone who's a horrible leader because they lead from their ego and insecurity. 
they're corrupt, they use fear and control, they're very punishing. All right, Ten of Cups and the Emperor in Reverse. Wow, Ten of Cups and Ten of Wands. It feels like we're ending a cycle here. That's what it was talking about in the um, what's hidden is ending the cycle. I think what's happening, our cycles are ending where we're clearing you, Scorpio especially, are clearing out toxic, maybe daddy issues around Ten of Cups and Ten of Wands, around responsibility, a lack of responsibility, um, projecting blame, toxic masculinity, masculine traits, being afraid of emotions, um, belittling, seeing emotions as weakness, um, abandonment, projection, a, a lack of, a lack of authenticity and, um, a lack of accountability, overwhelmed with ego. So it looks like you might be clearing these energies out of your masculine side and clearing um, beliefs that are connected that keep you stuck in these patterns. And or you might be clearing out of your 3D um, bad bosses. I'm not going to take it. Or people in the toxic masculine um, space where you have to um, disconnect. You have to be a little delusional to be in their energy because they've got a story of how everyone needs to perceive them. And if you don't perceive them how you want to them to be perceived then they can't they they'll punish the they're they're a, a child they're a wounded child acting like an adult and that's why they're a bad boss and it looks like there's a new timeline a new opportunity something very a new way of being that's not this and it looks like as you clear away these toxic masculine traits, then you're um, bringing in very healed masculine ideas. So, wow. All right, Scorpio, that's your reading. I hope that was helpful. Have a great, great week. Take care.